We were able to get grants totaling $8 million plus in-kind contributions and donations, so it it is fully funded. We're okay with funding. The West Augustine Historical Development Corporation is hosting a groundbreaking ceremony Friday for its future health and wellness center. Founder Greg White says the 14,000-square-foot facility will help fill a gap in the West Augustine community. The health department gave us some alarming that years back, where the infant mortality rate in historic West Augustine is three to four times higher than any other sections of St. Johns County. But in addition to that, after we dug deeper into the weeds, we were in the top percentage when it came to cancer, stroke, hypertension, HIV, kidney failure, diabetes, and all of the ills that destroy the body. We was in the top percent. The facility will offer a variety of services. The medical component will be done by UF Health, mental health and substance abuse by a local nonprofit called Epic to address the uninsured, a local nonprofit called Wildflower Clinic to address the wellness. We're going to have the YMCA in there. And then also the Youth Crisis Center going to address our youth by providing a nurturing environment for them. White says it wouldn't be possible without community partners. Our attorney, Fred Ossenbarger, who works for UpChurch and UpChurch, he was a believer before anybody was a believer. Friday's groundbreaking ceremony starts at 10 o'clock at 938 West King Street. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. It's an icon up US1. Everybody knows the red double-decker bus. The King's Head British pub on Route 1 is closing for good Sunday. But what will be the fate of the red bus? Liz Ryan asks owner Ann Dyke. If things go according to her wishes, that red bus isn't going anywhere. It's all in the lap of the gods. We don't know at the moment. We are closing at 5 o'clock Sunday. I hope that whoever does eventually buy it will keep it as a pub. The red double-decker bus will still be there, so people will still know where they live. Because if I took that bus away, I don't think I'd even know where I lived. They came to the difficult decision to close for a few reasons. One of them being the location just isn't the same. In 45 years since I've been here, Things have changed so much. We are being completely enclosed by loads of houses and buildings of all sorts all around us. We are no longer just the King's Head up the road. If we didn't have the red double-decker bus, you wouldn't know where we were. Good, reliable help is getting harder to find. It's getting where we cannot rely on the staff showing up. And inflation is tough on the restaurant business. Just ground beef had gone up 30 cents in one week. And I won't say how old her daughter is. I didn't get permission from her. But although she doesn't seem it, Anne isn't shy about telling her age. She's 86 and feels like "Mm, maybe it's time to slow down. I worked up until about three years ago, but now my daughter, as she's completely taken over and is running the business. But of course, she should be retiring. But even after the restaurant closes, Anne says she thinks she'll stick around. But I'll probably just hang around here. I don't particularly want to go anywhere anymore. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. How about being a tourist in your own backyard in St. John's County? Historically, September is when the nation's oldest city celebrates the founding of St. Augustine. Barbara Golden, Communications PR Manager, St. Augustine, Ponta Vidra, and the Beaches Visitors and Convention Bureau says there are many offerings encouraging a staycation. People love it here, and it gets a little busy, but it's really nice in September when it's a little quieter. Our local residents can get out and enjoy it more, and so many of our businesses offer local deals in the month of September just to give back to our community. You will need a local ID to enjoy the discounted rates at various hotels and events. One of the most exciting parts is the Sing Out Loud music series that all the free concerts that take place every weekend through September just to share that local joy with everyone. 
Plus, there's the oldest house exchange, the Outer Banks Boyle Company, the St. Augustine Shipwreck Museum, the Florida Water Tours, and much more, all happening with deep discounts through the end of the month. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.